It was very unusual for artists working at this date to inscribe the name of their subject on the front of a portrait. And as a result, the identifications of subjects are often lost in time. The present work is a classic example of this. In fact, until recently, the subject of this portrait was thought to be Humphrey Wingfield, a prominent lawyer during the late Tudor period. However, we now know, through research into the armorial bearings in the upper left corner, that the subject is in fact his great nephew, Richard Wingfield, a prominent landowner from Suffolk. This portrait was painted by Robert Peake, who is perhaps best known for his monumental portraits of James I's children in the early 1600s. This picture is relatively early for Peake. It was painted in 1587 and is one of the earliest portraits attributed to his hand. Now what makes this portrait so interesting is the intense realism in the subject's face. I mean, compare this, for example, to the portrait by the master of the Countess of Warwick, which is also in our exhibition. You can immediately see the difference. The master of the Countess of Warwick portrait is more static. It's painted layer by layer, one layer painted over the top of a dried layer beneath. It was built up over a period of time. Peak, however, in this painting, has painted wet in wet. And as a result, you have this glistening look to his eyes. I mean, it really is actually very, very engaging. Richard Wingfield is shown here at the end of his career with all the trappings of success. He's got this amazing black embroidered doublet on with this Spanish cape over his shoulders. These big circular buttons which he wears on the front of his doublet were particularly fashionable at this date. Around his waist, he wears this intricate sword belt with a peas cod belly protruding over it. In his right hand, the subject is proudly showing us an intricate gold and enamel pendant with a profile at the centre. On the little finger of his right hand, he wears two rings, one of which shows a pair of wings, of course, in reference to his family name. The smaller one shows the coat of arms of his family in reverse, which would have been used for sealing documents. As one of the most successful and talented painters of the late Elizabethan and Jacobean periods, the inclusion of a work by Robert Peake in this exhibition is something of which we are particularly proud. <laughs>